a ti que solo por amor y con tanto dolor me trajiste a este mundo a ti que cuidaste de mí desde que yo nací con tu amor más profundo a ti my favorite kind of music to sing is music that has meaning either way like it could be uh, talking about love about relationships music that talks about life about nature one of my favorite songs of all time is what a wonderful world i see trees of green red roses too i see them bloom for me and you and i say to myself what a wonderful world lovely song I have written many beautiful songs that have become very popular in the States and different countries. I have traveled to other countries because of my music. There is one song that identifies my writings that is called A Ti Madre, To You Mother. And it was the bestseller in Puerto Rico and New York, when, I mean United States when it came out. And, People love that song. They played the video and played that song every year for Mother's Day. A ti, que solo por amor y con tanto dolor me trajiste a este mundo. I, there are a few songs that are kind of my signature song. And one of them is, start spreading the news. <laughs> I can tell you, I can assure you that I enjoy singing that song as much as Frank Sinatra did. And I have sung that song many more times than Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Wherever I go, people want to hear my rendition of that song. I feel more relaxed. I feel more, more me. I am not pressured by the camera, the guest, the microphone. I just feel comfortable. It's like I have a, I'm having a conversation with a friend in the living room of my house. But what I enjoy more than anything is talking to common people, hearing their stories, their life, their struggles, their dreams, their aspirations, because they give you a sense of what reality is really like, what is happening, what is really, what really life is being, what is going on. This is something very peculiar, because when you go to the Caribbean, when you go to Dominican Republic, you feel like you have more time to do things. You feel like the days, instead of 24 hours, are a week. And I attribute that to the fact that when you go over there, you go mostly for vacation or to rest or just without any compromises. And you can take your time to do things. And over there, the distances are much shorter. To go from one town to the other takes you like maybe one hour, hour and a half, to go from Santo Domingo to Santiago, or to go across the island, maybe two, two and a half hours. But here you can take the A train to go to Brooklyn, and it could take you more than one hour. Plus, here you have to work, you have to go to school, you have to do many things. And it's more complicated to get from one place to the other. And I guess that this is where most of the time is spent here. Time passing is a very complex and interesting phenomenon. Time passing can make you wiser, can make you humbler, and can make you face reality in a way that if you are intelligent enough, will help you to get prepared for the passing. <laughs> Time never stops. And if you try to run against time, play against time, there's going to be only one result, you're going to lose. This is why 
in time you have to learn how to be more patient, more tolerant, and accept yourself as you are with the changes of time is going to come into your life and especially into your body. I think that time is the most precious commodity that we have and we tend to value it when we are losing it or we have very little time. Time should be used to be happy, not to complicate other people's life or to hurt other people. Time should be used to learn, time should be used to grow and to try to do whatever you can to help people. Yo te lo quiero decir, madre, como tú no hay nadie.